just said before, take a really big bag of stuff in here. Found my wings. Um, and you can put it wherever you really don't need to have it close to you. Just close enough so you can reach it with your hand. And take a fairly good size amount. Uh, you can go ahead and pull it apart a little bit. And you're just going to want to stuff your wings much as you can. Make sure you'll get into the little cracks. Especially if you're doing a bigger uh, plush. You know, like the little three little fingers, I guess you could call them, on the wing. Want to really make sure you stuff them in there. Um, I overstuffed my wings. This way they kind of stay in place. So yeah, just take as much stuff in as you need. Stuff them. Gonna want to do this to the second one too. And you're going to leave that little flap. You want to stuff your flap. But you want to make sure you got them pretty, pretty cushiony. Actually, this even works with um, any kind of plush you're doing, I suppose. Just follow the same steps. And when it comes to your stenciling, just stencil out, you know, whatever you need to. Want to do a Pikachu? You can do a Pikachu. I can't think of any other kind of plush you would need, <laughs> um, but as long as you can sketch it out, and it's not too complex, this tutorial should be great for you. Okay, so I got all that done. Drop my little body here. Should I touch your body? Make sure you know cut everything. As you can see, my they don't look very good. They're going to look better when you have them stuffed. They'll spread apart a bit. And you can always just, you know, push it in or pull it out. How are you going to need it? You're going to want to open up a flap. Figure out the way your wing goes. Maybe you want it this way. Maybe you want it that way. Um, sort of stuff it into the flap. See how far you're going to want it. I'm going to want mine about that that far in. I'm going to take a little bit of stuffing out. That looks, looks good. I'm going to take a little pins and pin it into place. Same thing with your second one. Find out how you want it. Just put a little flap. Make sure you get it as even as possible. So you can tell my wings are a little different. It shouldn't matter too much. Also remember, if you want your wings to be, you know, smaller, just take it right back to the sewing machine and make them smaller. Let's put this one, take a little bit more stuffing out. We'll put it in a little bit more. Right about there, it looks good. So repin. You're going to end up wanting to take one of the pins out at one point. So you can't, because you're going to want to stuff the body. <clears throat> so you can always take your chalk after um, you pin it and you find out where you want it. Just take your chalk and just mark it. It's not going to do anything to your plush. Mark it on both sides because you never know what side you're going to grab. Or if the chalk is going to rub off at any point. 
So just mark it where you got it. Then you're going to want to take your string and a needle. I'm going to use um, same color string as the thing. I have the only kind of string I have left like this is on my last bobbin. So go ahead and have yourself a needle. Actually, I might have one on here. Don't want a very big needle because you want well you don't want a really small needle but you want uh, like a medium sized needle or something whatever you're comfortable using with but just don't use a big one like this um, because it'll just make really big holes it's easier to tear this is not the kind of needle you need for this fabric okay maybe I don't have a needle on here. needle. <clears throat> Thumbs up if you're, you know, if you got a cold too. Then string your needle. Give yourself plenty of string. I always, I don't know, some people do it with, um, you know, just the one string and they just tie it up here. I don't. Every time I've ever sewn anything, I always double up on the string. Just give yourself plenty of string. And then just start sewing one of your wings. You want maybe you want to go inside, because um, if you're gonna sew like me, you don't want your little knot to show. So you're gonna want to go inside, and then tuck whatever kind of excess string you have in there. You're gonna end up sewing this all closed anyway, so nobody will be able to see it. And then just uh, sew it. So your wing, I, I used to do this the way my teacher showed me in home ec, when to be a pillow. So I just sort of sew it in and then sew it out like that. I just want to do it as close, close to the edge as possible. Let's see if I can't, I don't know how well you guys can see that, let's see if I can't get it any closer for you guys. Um, sew it in. I think it's still, guys, you can't sew. There we go. So you want to sew it in here. And then sew it out as close to the edge. Sew it in. Sew it out as close to the edge as you can. Of course, pull it through. And, uh, you no. Know, as you can see, you can't really see the string. That's what you want. Uh, just keep doing that for this wing on um, both sides. You're also going to want to make sure you sew this shut. Go ahead and, and then you can sew the very front part of your wing here, leaving this part open and leaving this right here, leaving that open. Then stuff the body and uh, then we'll get on to our next. Okay, so um, after you finish sewing, you should have a little plush like this or a big plush like that but um, you should have a little plain plush next thing you're going to want to do is take your fabric glue right here uh, my tacky glue it's called um, I swear by this stuff right here I used it on my last plush so um, anyways you take this and um, <coughs> you take a pair of scissors and you're going to need your black felt your white felt and uh, pink felt
And then what you're going to want to do is either find a pattern online, uh, you know, just a picture online, or um, just do this based on what I'm showing you on the tutorial. Uh, when I first did this, I ended up looking up a picture online. Um, this is the picture that, uh, of a picture of the one I did right here. So, um, you know, just take a picture, bring it up on your laptop or computer, or print it out, and then you're going to want to cut out these patterns. So you're going to want to cut out three small, um, little, like, rectangles, uh, and then even smaller, thinner ones. You're going to want to cut out the little mouth, uh, the two little pink ovals, and, um, a big pink, or a big, rather, a big black circle, and a smaller white circle for the eyes. And we're going to do that now. Um, take your black felt. Bring it up here. As you can tell, I'm wearing my pajamas. I'm doing this, I don't even know what time. It's like almost 1 in the morning. Or actually, it's 12, it's about 12.30 in the morning. So you're going to take scissors. And, uh, I'm going to start cutting out your small things here.